Good morning, children. Hope you all are enjoying studies. Children, yesterday we have revised that plants are dependent on animals and animals are dependent on plants. And this dependency is called interdependence of plants and animals. As we all know that sun is the main source of energy and plants get energy directly from sun in the form of sunlight. Yes, plants are dependent on animals for carbon dioxide. Yes, plants are dependent on animals for carbon dioxide. And animals are dependent on plants for oxygen and food. Yes. And children, we have revised that plants can make their own food. Plants are not dependent on anybody for food. They can produce their own food. That is why we call them producers. And animals are consumers. Why consumers? Because they are dependent on plants for food. So, in yesterday's class, we have revised this one. today's lesson, we are going to see how animals are classified into different groups on the basis of food habits. Okay, now let's see. Animals that eat only plants are known as herbivores. Animals that eat only flesh, meat, they are known as carnivores. And animals that eat flesh, and plants both. They are known as omnivorous. Animals that eat dead animals. Yes, they are known as scavengers. And organisms, organisms feed on dead plants and animals. They are known as decomposers. So, this is the classifications of animals on the basis of their food habits. Children, can you identify the animals given on the screen? Giraffe, cow, deer, elephants, rabbit, grasshopper. Yes, I know grasshopper is not animal. This It, it is insect. Children, do you know what they eat? They eat plants. So, they comes in herbivorous category. Yes, what they eat children? They eat plants and animals that eat plants, only plants, they are known as herbivorous animal. Now, let's see their teeth structure. Children, herbivorous animals have Sharp front teeth. Why they are having sharp front teeth? Because it is easy to cut plants. And they are having broad teeth on the back side. On the back side means here. On the back side they are having broad teeth. Why broad and flat teeth? Because they grind these plants for eating. Yes, sharp front teeth for cutting plants and broad back teeth for grinding plants. Is it clear? Dear, so this is all about herbivorous animals. Now children identify this group of animal. This is shark. Shark is a sea animal. Wolf Tiger, lion, cheetah. Yes, and what is this? This is eagle and it is a bird. And they all are wild. They eat flesh. That is why they, they are known as carnivorous animal. I am repeating again children. They eat flesh. And the animals or birds that eat flesh are known as carnivorous animal. Animal. These animals, these animals 
hunt kill other animals to eat these animals hunt kill other animals to eat and the animals those hunt and kill other animals for eating they are known as predators they are known as predators and the animals they hunt animals they hunt are known as prey this is clear to you they kill them a animal who is killing is known as predators and animal which is killed they are known as prey now children let's see their teeth structure you can see sharp teeth yes you can see here sharp teeth they are having sharp teeth and to cut or tear flesh actually they are having sharp pointed front teeth you can see it is sharp and pointed here also you can see why they are having these kind of teeth to tear the flesh okay children this is clear to you all i am repeating again they have sharp pointed teeth for tearing flesh of animals is it clear to you all now children see this is another group of animals on the screen here you can see bear chimpanzee dog and human this is the group of animal that eat flesh and plants both and animals that eat flesh and plants both they are known as omnivorous animal i'm repeating again the group of animals that eat flesh and plants both flesh and plant both they are known as omnivorous animal now let's see their teeth structure children omnivorous animal use their back teeth means these teeth to chew meat or grind fruit and vegetables and they use their front teeth that is this one to cut meat or to bite fruits and vegetable yes so front teeth helps them to rip flesh and take and bite fruits and vegetables back teeth helps them to chew uh, and to grind fruits and vegetables so this is clear to you all now children here you can see another group of animals where you can see fox crow hyena and vulture these are the animals or birds that eat dead animals that is why they are known as scavengers they are known as scavengers because they eat dead animals children they never hunt they don't hunt and kill animals they eat dead animals only okay if they get dead animals they will eat but if they are not getting dead animals they will not eat because they never hunt okay they are surviving on the dead animals only is it clear to you all now see their teeth structure they are having strong back teeth they are having strong back teeth as they break bones with the help of these teeth and they chew bones and they also help in keeping our environment clean how they are helping our environment how they are helping to make our environment clean children do you know because they are eating dead animals so they are eating dead animals means they are removing waste matter from the earth yes because if it will remain there it will decompose and it will smell yes which is not good for our environment so environment so what they do they eat dead animals and by eating dead animals they are helping 
us in keeping our environment clean is it clear to you all now children identify this picture what is this these are decomposers and what is decomposers decomposers are those organisms that eat dead and decaying plants that eat dead and decaying plants so we can say organisms that eat dead and decaying plants are known as decomposers yes examples of decomposers are bacteria fungi worms children you must be knowing or you must be familiar with earthworm earthworm is what decomposer okay earthworm is what decomposer as earthworm eat dead and decaying plants is it clear to you all you must be thinking what is the difference between decomposers and scavengers children scavengers eat dead animals scavengers eat dead animals but decomposers eat decaying plants and dead animals and they help dead bodies and dead plants to decompose and mix with soil and then it forms humus and that humus is what you that humus is what that humus is mixture of decomposed matter and it contain lot of nutrients which is used by plants so this is how decomposers helps us okay this is how decomposers helps us so i believe it is clear to you all